Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2. Alright, so last time we reached Cloister 80 and it looks like we've got another unsent up there waiting for us. So let's take a look at our setup. Yuna, she's on Valiant Luster. I've got the Garmic Red set up as you can see there with the gunner in the center. She's on Mascot with the Crystal Bangle and Speed Racer. Riku, she's on Valiant Luster with the Gunner. She's going to be the doing the damage this battle with the Haste Bangle and Catnip, since both of these require SOS. Uh, SOS uh, that's uh, can solve the issue of uh, not having a uh, third uh, speed, speed bracer. So yeah, Riku's going to be the damage. And Pain, Valiant Luster, Mascot, Crystal Bangle, and Speed Bracer for her as well. So equally important as the damage is the items. We want remedies at the very top because of what this particular incident can do to us. Yeah, uh, ribbon, ribbon is not going to help us. Okay, so I got the rabbit, ribbons at, uh, remedies at the top with the Phoenix Downs beside it. And I got the X Potions here as well. I was considering using Mega Elixirs as a, a, in place of the High Potions, but we've only got six of them and we aren't going to be using MP, so I was like, yeah. Probably won't do too much uh, to protect us with the high potions there, but I figured just in case. But uh, yeah, hopefully we won't need to use 24 X potions. So yeah, but uh, ooh, here's hoping I don't uh, bite my tongue on that one. So yeah, and just to show you, Riku still working on quarter pounder there. So yeah, all right. One mistake in this battle can spell game over for us, so let's do this. It's going to be fast and furious in this battle. And yes, this particular unsent is going to have 437,850 HP, 820 MP, you can steal one to two others from her. She is weak to ice, absorbs thunder, immune to gravity, susceptible to eject, delay, and interruptions. Good luck getting eject to hit. She's immune to all debuffs as well. And yeah, her stony gaze can pierce Ribbon. So yeah, um, whoever she hit, attacks with it is going to be petrified, which is why we want remedies front and center. They're going to be priority. So yeah, and then Phoenix Down's behind it. And then I'm going to think about putting Riku on damage. <laughs> as long as we've got everybody ready to go. And she actually does have a casting animation for the Stony Gaze. Uh, so, yeah. And she can also... Oh, the, the reason why you want to get rid of the petrification, if you recall, yeah, who, if uh, she physically attacks a person who gets petrified, it will shatter them and remove them from the battle. We do not, I repeat, do not want that to happen to Riku because she's our damage. So, yeah. Keep, keep petrification off as quickly as possible at all costs. So, yeah. Like I said, one mistake could spell game over. Alright, so basically we're going to be waiting for Riku to get killed so we can revive her and then, uh, yeah, then we can start uh, thinking about doing damage. So, let's do this. Alright, let's get the uh, Phoenix down for Riku. And here comes the first... Stony Glare, from Yuna. There is Heaven's Cataract, let's revive Riku. Yuna, let's get an X-Potion on yourself. Alright. Thank you, Phoenix, please. Ooh, that was close. Come on, come on, come on. Let's get Trigger Happy going. 18. Remedy on Yuna. Trigger happy. Another 18. We got her! <laughs> oh, we got a shining gem out of that, yeah. An item that casts flare.
<sighs> Let's go back and save it. <laughs> so yeah, I'll get uh, equipped for the uh, the journey further in, and then I'll be right back. All right. So before we head deeper. We've got Yuna on High Road Winds again, the mascot Crystal Gloves and Wizard Bracelet. Riku's on Valiant Luster with the mascot Champion Belt and Sprint Shoes for the first strike. Payne's on Valiant Luster, mascot Champion Belt and Sprint Shoes as well. Some of you may be seeing what I plan to do. The reason for this setup is because Quite literally, the only reason we would be fighting anything on the way down is for the gill. We're already at level 99, we have no abilities we need to learn on the mascot dress spheres or anything else. So really, we don't need to fight anything going down there. And with that, we could... I timed myself and we can actually get to the next, get through the next 20 floors in this episode as long as I run from every battle you know edit all the battles and all that fun stuff so let's do this I will still show the battles that have new fiends in them but the reason why I'm doing this is because from here on out we can actually run into all of the bosses we fought up to this point as random encounters so Arania black elemental Conjurer and Shack. So yeah, we can run into the Black Elemental, Conjurer, Shack, Arania as random encounters. Just remember the HP of the Conjurer and all that stuff? Yeah. Gonna be running from everything. I'll still go over the stats and all that stuff, de details of the new fiends, but yeah, we're running from everything. We're blitzing to the next through the next four next twenty floors. All right, here's the first new enemy, Mushroom Cloud. It has nine. 9,999 HP with 270 MP you can steal one to two turbo one to two others from it. Weak to fire, resistant to water, immune to gravity, and it has auto regen on. So heads up there. Uh, it is susceptible to berserk and eject, and all the debuffs you can cast magic. And it has its itchy uh, status can pierce our ribbon as well. So yeah, let's get out of here. That's the uh, mushroom cloud. Let's get out. Oversold, it has 999 HP more than that, so yeah, everything else is pretty much the same though. Actually, I forgot to include this. Any indication of what it built or uses when it oversouls. But yeah, the piercing statuses are the reason why I'm doing this. Not worth the hassle. Basically renders everything we've done in the game up to this point, you know, building up abilities, pointless. Alright, and here's the other one. This is... Lacerda, La Certa, <laughs> uh, 12,324 HP with 750 MP, you can still one to two others from it. It absorbs gravity and it has auto haste on, so yeah, uh, and it's susceptible to eject and doom and all of the debuffs. And it does percentage based damage on you based on your maximum HP, so it can kill you. So heads up. So, yeah. All right, so that's that. Oversold, it has 13,556 HP with 980 MP, and everything else is the same. So, yeah, all right, let's get out of here. Elder Drakes are here as well as random encounters. So 
Speaking of an Elder Drake, <laughs> that's what was in there. It was a Contra I just ran from. So yeah, I'm basically running from anything that is not a fixed or forced encounter. So yeah, I'm swapping out the wizard bracelet and sprint shoes for the uh, diamond gloves for the megaton berries. Talk to our friend though. Thank you. All right, so these floors, I'm basically just going to switch over to the uh, Mega Tonberry setup, and I'm going to wipe out all, th all three of the Tonberries to open the way, and then I'll be back when I'm done. All right, I guess I'm leaving this fight in. The Mega Tonberry. Not much different than the regular one, regular form, but I would like to cast Reflect with Riku. Still using Sparkler for damage. Alright, that should be good to go. And yeah, I don't think I've actually uh, confirmed or denied what happened with uh, Pain getting one shot. And yeah, while I was editing that, that video, uh, I did see that Pain did have her back to the Megaton very so that would be why she got one shot in. So yeah, it does apply to us too. <laughs> the uh, hit from behind, so yeah. Alright, so this is the, there's the oversold Megaton berry normally. So yeah, I'll be back when I uh, finish clearing out this floor to uh, open the way. Wise. Yeah, I'm only worried about you now. Eighty-six. Well, Pain didn't survive that Contra. <laughs> Couldn't quite get out of, out of there in time. I wish I did that with you. That's good enough. Seven. All right, yeah, we got the new fiends here as well. Oh boy, the critical bug. <laughs> Oversold, well, regular form, 57,234 HP with 908 MP, you can steal one to two others from it. Uh, it is immune to ice, water, and gravity, and it is immune to sleep, confu sleep, curse, eject, slow, stop, delay, interruptions, and percentage-based damage. And yeah, it uh, does poison, water, and ice damage. 
oversold however it's got 60,096 hp with 908 mp can steal one to two elixirs from it same elemental and status immunities and it's specializes in targeting specific types of dress fear so mages uh, anything with a gun and anything with a sword so fortunately we have neither of those so we should be good to go so yeah but in this case let's get out of here should be one more. These show up at 85 plus. Alright, got the Megaton Rates weight. to turn around, walk a little bit, and we should be able to avoid it. There's another critical bug there. The last enemy is a it is a vermin type as well. Yeah, there we go. More pain. I forgot to sort my accessories back over. Hmm. Back on the wizard bracelet and sprint shoes now. Let's see how many floors we can get. See how quick we can go through them. Yep. Have a good day. Is this her? It is the insect matriarch. The last fiend we have not run into here. Uh, 48,796 HP with 868 MP. Can still want to do others from it. It is immune to fire and thunder and gravity. So it's the, alter, the opposite of the critical bug. Uh, immune to sleep, curse, eject, uh, slow, stop, delay interruptions and percentage based damage and yeah you can inflict uh, sleep slow thunder and fire damage oversold it is 51,236 hp with 868 mp with you can steal one to two elixirs from it uh, same elemental affinities however it loses its immunity to slow and stop when it's oversold so yeah everything else is the same uh, attacks though it loses the statuses and it gains gravity uh, gravity based attacks and it still does thunder and fire damage so yeah. all right so let's get out of here now move that out of the way so yeah i can basically just edit out everything else Here. 
Part of me thinks I should get my diamond gloves equipped <laughs> for something like that, just in case I accidentally go a little too far off the edge. 92. The next Megaton I run into, I may put the other the other wizard bracelet on pain to help with her MP, since you know just the number of times she's died anyway, even with the sprint shoes. To the contrary, yeah, wasn't able to get her out of there before the she was pressed. <laughs> so yeah, I think I might do that. Ninety-four probably doesn't need to be. Got the wizard bracelets on Yuna and Pain. Probably doesn't need to be said if you're running from everything, but hold on. Hold on to the twin stars you're likely winning from the Tonberries. Oh, editing this video is going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Just number of battles. Turbo weather out of it, at least. Nice. Thank you. Don't need to touch the teleporters anymore, because, well, you know, in pain, have wizard bracelets. I will heal if I need to, though, my HP. Make sure I do before I just try to win it before I fight any mega before I fight any megaton berries. Ninety-seven. Wait for him to turn around. Speaking of, poor Pain got mauled by a trio of Lichertas. Wait a minute. Uh, let's give this to Pain. Three on one was a lot of damage. <laughs> I most certainly don't have the lure bracer equipped, right? <laughs> uh. I assure you, I did not. <laughs> I 
Couldn't see the hole. 99. Really, game? Really? That quick? That was better. And we've made it to floor infinity. Is there ever going to end? Well, I guess by infinity, the question is no, maybe? Well, looks like we've got another incident, and I recognize that cloak from 20 floors ago, so... Oh boy. Alright, so we made it through 20 floors this time, so yeah. Because of those ridiculously high HP amounts and the high defense and just the amount of switching of accessories around just to take on each of them kind of thing because they were bosses. Yeah, just blitzing through it I find is the best way to go, so... All right, so we made it in one video, none, no less. Next time, I guess we'll uh, go pay a visit to the unsent Lord Zeon. And who knows, maybe he's forgiven us for uh, defeating his, uh, his beloved again. But... Hopefully he has, but we will definitely have to make sure that we're prepared, just in case he doesn't. <laughs> Alright, so this is Intrepid83 signing off. Formerly known as Cyric1983, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like on your way out. It, helps, it definitely shows your support for the series here, and it helps get this content to those who are looking for it. As we uh, inch closer to that 96% uh, completion checkpoint that we're oh so looking forward to and hoping for. And uh, yeah... We will get there eventually, but still got stuff to do, and I guess we'll just we'll get there when we get there. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Fortunately, believe if there's anything we've missed, it'll likely be in this chapter just because of the completion checkpoint system I've been using. So yeah, and just the uh, the tentative completion checkpoint I made at the beginning of the chapter. So yeah, all right. And yeah, if you haven't subscribed over there yet, why not head on over to my other channel, Entrepid83 with an E, and uh, see if there's anything over there that could potentially earn your subscription, and if it does, well, I'll see you over there. But in any case, and until next time, thank you all so very much for spending some of your time here today. Thank you for watching, as always. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. <laughs> Take care. Be blessed and have a good one.